Her loss, you know? I'm just gonna dust myself off. And the fact that Nicole is on that other side of that pod still means something. My partner for life, my best friend, someone who could be the wife of my kids. Who? Oh. I wanna find my woman sexy because what else are we gonna do when it's raining? <laughs> oh God, they try to drown me in this hoe. I cannot see. Oh God, I have a whole ass pool in my shoe. to stroke your boyfriends what hey guys welcome back so we're watching something new today love is blind uk so for those who don't know here's a quick rundown of love is blind people come in do a quick speed dating where they can't see each other they get proposed to then they either can choose whether or not to go through with the wedding and be actually married for real for real now should anybody do this in real life hell no but is it fun watching other people do it hell yeah are you part of the problem? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love reality TV. Okay, so let's get started with episode one. So there's a bunch of people, but here are the people that you should care about. Ali, Natasha, Freddie, Sam. Oh, by the way, I can't stand Sam. Catherine, Demi, Sabrina, Steven, Nicole, Jasmine, Bobby, Benaya, Tom, and Maria. That's a lot of people. You're probably not going to remember all of them because trust me, I didn't. Anyways, we first meet Freddie, who is a funeral director, and apparently that scares a lot of women off, but I don't get why because it's not like he's going to murder you. I'm a funeral director. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you actually... Calm down. I'm not going to embalm you. <laughs> why are you running? Why are you running? Anyways, he and Catherine get along very well. But Catherine's also hidden off with Ali, like she's low-key already in love with Ali. We'll train together sometime. Is that a promise? A hundred percent. Stop it. Get some help. Ali tells us that he usually dates with his eyes, so this time he wants to date for, like, who he actually has a connection with. Do I have a celebrity lookalike? Yes, I do. I don't think I look like him that much, but I've had people coming up to me and saying I look like Craig David. Craig David? Who are these people that are lying to him? You know, somebody once told me I look like Kerry Washington. Look at me. Look at me. Do I look like fucking Kerry Washington? Is it because I'm black? <laughs> Anyways, Ali goes on a date with Demi and hits it off with her. I do think physical attraction is important. I want to be able to look at my man and be like, mmm. Mmm. Damn right, Demi. Damn right. That's why you guys will never find me on a show like this. Demi comes back from her day with Ali, and Catherine looks mad, like, that's my man. Well, not my man, but is my man. Not officially, but officially, but we haven't made it official, but you should officially know that officially he may be, may be my man. Just feel the energy. I, like, my man is out there. He's Hello, yeah. darkness, my Catherine doesn't know that Demi went on a date with Ali, though, okay? Let's just make that clear. Ali, on the other hand, is telling other guys that he and Catherine get along sexually, but Demi is the type of girl that he actually needs. I promise you there's no way No, there's no hell. one better than me. Huh? There's no one better than me at basketball uh, arcades. No one. I'm so confused right now. Now we see Sabrina and Steven go on a date and they hit it off pretty well. He goes back and tells the guys how good his date was and Tom was like, yeah, me and Sabrina hit it off too. Lies! And he looks so fucking mad. I didn't really have a spark with her. Oh, I did. Did you? <laughs> oh, I'm joking. I'm just messing with her. Like, excuse me, did you forget what this show's about? Uh, yeah. Now we're introduced to Sam, the guy said I didn't like. He comes off like a very insecure guy, but he has like a ton of confidence. So it really doesn't make sense. You're very sweet, aren't you? You seem like you sound like a very... But the sweet guy never wins. And... Yeah, and if you saw me, then I think you might be impressed. He told us that he got a nose job. He took off work to work out just for the show. And honestly, he just says whatever he thinks sounds good enough to attract women. And Nicole is able to notice this right away. You're making me a bit scared, if I'm honest, because yeah. I feel like you're saying a lot of the right things. But he hits it off with both Nicole and another woman in there named Jasmine. So then we see Nicole, and she's talking with Benaya, and they hit it off. Steven and Sabrina go on another date, and so far, they're doing the best. Like, they got a lot of things in common. They got the same goals. They got the same mindset. But they later find out that he wants kids, but she can really do without him. So now they're, like, kind of, like, stuck. I feel very deflated on how that conversation had ended. Oh, really? Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, Sam and Jasmine had a great date, but she goes and has an even better date with another guy named Bobby. Back to Sabrina and Steven, they solved the whole child problem and they're now back on track. I'm very open to surrogacy or adoption. I'm here for that. Oh, I want to hug you. Oh. Like... <laughs> 
Well, that was anticlimactic. Now moving on to Kathleen and Freddie, they go back on another date. They find out that both of their grandmas are named Mary and their grandpas are named Bill. And she's crying like it's meant to be. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why are you crying? <laughs> I'll be crying because I'm worried that I might be sleeping with my cousin. Okay. With Freddie, <laughs> it's just mind blowing. I feel a sense of home. <laughs> She goes on a date with Ali and she's really, really into him. More than she is with Freddy. Ali, on the other hand, still likes her, but he also likes Demi, so he really can't choose who he likes for now. I know what I want, but I'm not 100% sure who that is, and I'm, I'm being real with you when I say that, and that's fine, and, and you're probably in the same boat. So, that's his struggle. Anyways, now Demi and Catherine are talking about Ali, and it's kind of clear to see that a love triangle is not forming. I think Demi has a strong connection with Ollie. I really do. Do I see them on the outside world together now? I don't want to get in. My mouth gets me in trouble. And I gotta say, how funny is Ali? <laughs> I said Ali. Oh, jump, jump scare. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, how funny is Ali? Because I feel like he's just all right. I mean, I might giggle, but I'm not fighting over him with another woman. Maybe it's because I already know what he looks like. Anyway, Steven proposes to Sabrina. She gives a long ass speech before finally saying yes not knowing that he has been on his knee for the whole entire time. Sorry, I probably should have started with yes. <laughs> and then told you that. Oh, uh, yeah, you think? Now that's the end of episode one. Episode two. So now we meet Tom and Maria and they're doing pretty well. Who's the coolest guy in the hospital? Who? The ultrasound guy. Who's the coolest guy in the hospital and the ultrasound guy isn't there? Who? The hip replacement guy. I don't get it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Anyways, they share some of the tragic experiences. And in this season, there's like a lot of tragedies happening. Like, her dad died from COVID. His dad ran out to grab milk and never came back. Rude. Her grandma passed. His grandpa died. His dad and stepmom died by drowning. Like, oh my gosh. Full on tragic. I feel like there might be some that I missed, but like, horrible. All of it is horrible. Anyways, we now see Tom talking to Natasha, and they also hit it off. Natasha, 10 out of 10, there's something there. I just, I can't place it. Freddie and Catherine go on another date. We find out that she's actually adopted, so they might actually not be related. So that's good. But being adopted has affected her in a very bad way, and they kind of talk through it, and she tells us that she really likes Freddie. This is why I like, oh no, this is why I like <laughs> Oh, so what did you say? But then she meets up with Ali again, who basically tells her that he won't be upset if she wanted to explore more people. And she doesn't look happy by that at all. I think it is too, too early to completely rule anyone else out. Apparently, he might feel this way because she said that she likes to go clubbing and he don't like that, okay? He don't like that one bit. Which honestly, I don't get. I don't feel like clubbing is like a red flag at all. You just like to dance and party. What's the problem with that? Anyway, Steven and Sabrina finally meet and they look happy with what they see. She looks stunning. Thank you. You have hair. <laughs> <laughs> you are giving me bold energy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I always laugh. Now we see Jasmine and she goes on a date with Bobby and Sam. And Sam starts spilling all this love, love, love shit. And she tells Sam that she got a gut feeling that he's just saying everything that she want to hear. And he just throws a huge fit. This is just getting ridiculous. I'm honestly, I'm, should I just give up? I Maybe I'm meant to be with no one. Like, oh my gosh, relax and just ask her why she feels that way. Stop throwing a tantrum saying that you want to go home. You are a grown man. Anyways, her and Bobby get closer and she decides to choose him and decides to cut it off with Sam. Praise Jesus, because he ain't it. Sam, on the other hand, doesn't know about this and he still very much likes her. It worries me that I'm falling for her, but at the same time, I really am. Um... Go on. Um... Anyway, she tells him that she doesn't want his bitch ass anymore, and he takes it pretty well. Yeah, I respect it. That's absolutely fine. 12 seconds later. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Moving on, Demi surprised Ali for his birthday, and that kind of seals the deal for him. So then Demi comes back, and Catherine's like, oh, y'all, listen to this. So apparently, Catherine said that she wanted to take a step back so Demi can be happy. Girl, shut the fuck up. Anyways, she decides that she wants to break up with Ali. Ali decides that he wants to break up with her. So then they go on the date, and they basically break up with each other. Now onto Nicole. So she likes both Benaya and Sam, but likes Benaya a bit more than she likes Sam. So she asked him if he's ready for marriage, and he basically said no. Like, hello? 
are you confused on what show you're on? Now my poor girl is second guessing herself and I'm just thinking, she better not choose Sam. Like, please, do not, do not choose Sam. Anyways, Bobby and Jasmine go on their date and he raps this song for her. And this king needs a queen, but a queen needs a throne. I'm feeling high of a life. Okay, that's enough. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Don't lie to him. Sorry, sorry, I'm being a hater. A hater for no reason because Bobby's actually pretty chill. I think the words were good. The rap was just all right, in my opinion. It wasn't for me, so I don't even know why I'm like judging it. Moving on. He proposed and she said yes. Sam is like, yeah, it hurts, but it's her loss because I still got Nicole on the other side. She's my partner, my best friend. Like, yeah, okay. Now I'm engaged. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Anyways, he meets up with Nicole and it's like, I can't wait to meet you and pick you up. And Nicole is like, well, I don't think you can. And he's like, huh? So then she tries to explain that they really aren't allowed to like talk about their physical attributes. And I was like, oh, I didn't really know that. But apparently that comment worries Sam and he believes that she is fat. I'm going to pick you up. <laughs> you will be able to. <laughs> huh? He's over here gossiping about it to the other guys. It's so weird. He's like, oh my God, yeah, me too. But like, oh, you might not be it. And then I was like, what? And Benaya overhears it all and he's like, he doesn't want to sabotage anybody's experience, but he wants to tell Nicole. And I'm like, good, because ever since Benaya told Nicole that he doesn't want to get married, Nicole has been leaning more onto Sam and I don't like that. Okay, enough. I don't like it. So they meet up and Nicole basically said that she doesn't know how they will work out since he isn't ready. He reassures her that he generally does want to be with her, but then that's when she tells him about Sam, but then that's when he tries to tell her about Sam. Keyword, tries, okay? Because this man is getting up and down, covering his eyes, gasping for breath. Like, oh my gosh, tell her already, what are you doing? And so he finally tells her that Sam is not here for genuine reasons. And Nicole can't believe it. And that's where the day ends. Super juicy. Episode 3. So, Marie and Tom are kind of hot and cold. There's some things that they don't really agree on, like how she wants to be a stay-at-home mom for like a year or two after they have kids. And he isn't really for that because he wants a working woman. Because he's like, well, what if I want to stay home with the kids too? And she's like, well, you can. It's not really an issue. And then he's like, well, who's going to pay these bills? Then who going to pay these bills, Justin? Who? Who going to pay these bills? Anyways, on their next date, she said that he's her number one, but he admits to her that she ain't his. So then that makes her very sad, which makes sense. I don't 100% know what, what he's going to do, but I do believe in what we've got. And I let it know, we see some of the other girls like having like a whole bunch of fun. You ready guys for the reveal? You're gonna meet your partner and the doors are open. Nah. <laughs> 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 Anyways, Bobby and Jasmine finally see each other. You are so cute. I wasn't Bobby, expecting this. Yeah, Donna. Freddie and Catherine finally say that they love each other. Ali and Demi, on the other hand, have a really deep conversation where she gets really vulnerable about her conditions and how it's also going to be really hard for her to conceive children. Ali gives her some reassurance and it seems like all is well as they give each other a giant hug. Well, more like try to give each other a hug because, you know, they can't see each other. Oh! Ah, the ghetto! Nicola and Jasmine are talking about Sam, and Jasmine is warning her about Sam. And I'm like, yeah, great. First was Benaya, now it's Jasmine. That's two people, and you also have some doubts about him. That's three people. Reject that nigga, okay? It's okay. Reject him. Tom and Natasha are getting closer, and I see that they have, like, a better connection than him and Maria, but he shuts me up real quick because he said he likes Maria more. Anyways, Freddie's about to propose to Catherine. He reads her this letter, and she says yes, but with one of the worst ugly cries that I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Moving on to Nicole, both Sam and Benaya want to marry her. Benaya gets to his room and Nicole ain't there. Sam gets into his room and she ain't there either. And we see her walking into a room and I'm like, obviously it's for Benaya, duh. I think I just need to speak to my strongest connection at the moment. Hello? She goes into Sam's room. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
what she wants to know if he's here for the right reasons and i don't know why she thought that he would tell her the truth but he's like yeah 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 trust me i am anyways he proposed and she said yes and almost immediately it looks like an instant regret i'm sorry <laughs> Like, girl, I know Benai said that he didn't want to get married, but he showed later that he did want to get married. And if she wasn't sure between either of them, she could have just said no to both of them. Like, you don't have to choose between one or the other. Just go home empty-handed. Nobody's gonna judge you. I'm not gonna judge you for now. But yeah, honestly, what the hell is this? That's what you wanted? I can't believe it. Uh. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, you fucked up. Anyway, she then goes to see Benaya, who is still waiting there for her. You can't Who's mad is this? You put him on the TV. Go home! Bro, don't. Go home! Go home! Anyways, he told her that he wants to be committed to her, and she told him that she accepted Sam's proposal, and that's a wrap. <laughs> Benaya goes to the guys and tells them that she said no, and while he's getting comforted, Sam is there bragging about how she said yes, and he is literally reliving the experience. Like, bro, fuck you. She touched across that side. I said my hands about halfway and touch it. And she said, yes, yes, yes. A thousand times over, yes. That boy ain't right. Then he comes to him and he's like, are you okay, man? Like, you're gonna get hit if you don't get out of his face. Freddie and Catherine meet and she's already ugly crying. And you know what? I get it, okay? Freddie is fine. Like, he is fine, fine. Like, he has, like, this kind of, like, boyish charm. I don't really know how to explain it, but... Yeah, he's good looking. Wow! <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyways the ring fit perfectly on her finger like how do they know their ring size it doesn't matter episode four tom and natasha did he forget about them because i sure did so he tells her that he doesn't like her romantically she can't handle it he said that he wants them to be friends and she's like nah our story doesn't end here and then he's like i'm going with my gut woman and then she's like Fuck this guy. And then she leaves. Um, I do have to admit that the chat went actually much nicer. I just like to over-exaggerate. Okay. But apparently not that much because she gets so upset that she decides to go home. <laughs> Anyways, now it's time for Nicole to meet Sam. So he sees her and he's like, yes, she's not fat. So then they get together and damn, look at that height difference. Then he starts talking about how he don't care what anybody thinks as if she isn't a catch. Yeah, to me, I don't care what anyone else thinks. To me, she's freaking gorgeous. You know what he kind of reminds me of? That one guy on that bus that's like, She is very gorgeous to me! She, on the other hand, looks like she made a really bad decision. What you think? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I guess. Uh... Anyways, he then starts talking like he's in a woman's movie again. He's like, I'm just a boy who wants to love a girl. Like, bro, you got her. Relax. Anyways, they then hug to leave. He tells her not to change her mind. And she's like, yup, I promise. Like, girl, slow down. Okay, don't make promises just yet. But then they're leaving. And he tells her that he loves her. And she's like, yeah, I'll hold on to that. Wait, wait, wait. What? I think I love you. Okay, I'm gonna hold that. That was hilarious. Moving on to Tom and Maria, and not gonna lie, I keep skipping through their scenes, but he proposes and she said yes, but he didn't even get on his knees. <sighs> Will you marry me? I didn't like that. Now, Ali proposed to Demi. She said yes, duh. Tom and Maria meet and they like what they see. Maria gets her lipstick all over his lips. Yeah, that was so funny. Now we see Demi worried about how Ali will react when he sees her. Like, girl, you're gorgeous, okay? You're fine, relax. I wanna find my woman sexy because what else are we gonna do when it's raining? <laughs> huh? What is he talking about? Anyways, they see each other and she comes out all shy and shit. Like, girl, where is the confidence? But he loves what he sees and it's all good. Plus, he makes it very obvious that he likes her butt. And I had to have a little look back as I was walking away and I just happened to see the bunda. Man, oh my gosh. I'm no better than a nigga. <laughs> So now we got the six couples and they're gonna go on the retreat or honeymoon or whatever it is. Jasmine and Bobby are very happy that each other are hot. Catherine wants to meet Ali and get some closure. Steven and Sabrina are doing well. Demi thinks Ali is hot and she is not. Like, come on girl, you're pretty, let it be. Anyways, it's time for bed and Freddy is ripped. Oh my God. What did you do? 
What? Suck dick on accident. How the fuck do you suck dick? Now we see Nicole, and apparently her and Sam did not go to the retreat together. Praise Jesus! They both said that it didn't feel right, but we all know that Nicole was the one to end it. Anyways, Catherine and Freddie banged on the first night, and not once, but twice. We had sex. <laughs> yeah, we had <laughs> twice. I mean, look at here, but you kidding? Ah! It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. And I don't know for a fact, but I think Steven and Sabrina implied it. But they are getting married, so it kind of makes sense. So now we see Tom and Maria, and I don't know, this could just be me, but I just feel like Tom really likes Maria sexually, like... That's the biggest thing he likes about her is her sex appeal. It's just to me, that's kind of like the vibe he gives off. There's too much sexual tension and I'm really looking forward to exploring that part of our relationship a bit more in the in the next few days. Get away from her! Anyways, back in London, Nicole and Benaya finally meet up. Episode five. Oh my gosh, Sam wasn't tall. She is just tiny. So they catch up and then she apologizes to Benaya and he's like, damn girl, I don't mind. I just cried for a couple of days and nights, but it's all good. So then he proposes and she said yes. Yeah. <laughs> love, Do y'all peep how she kissed him? Cause she didn't kiss Sam. Coincidence? I think not. So now we see Maria and Tom, and they're talking about how Catherine and Ali broke up. Maria's like, she broke up with him, and Tom is like, well, he told us that he broke up with her. Uh-oh, something that doesn't matter is mattering. Is that a word? Doesn't matter. No. So apparently, Catherine knows about this, and she's telling Freddie about how she doesn't like it. The knowing that he just, like, twisted my words and made me sound someone that I just didn't like that. Like, oh my gosh, it's not that serious. It was mutual. Get over it. It's fine. Now we see Ali and Demi on a date. She's like, I'm so excited to see the other girls. Jasmine, Maria. Hmm. Who else am I missing? It's on the tip of my tongue. And Ali's like, Catherine. And she's like, yeah, Catherine. Like, girl, y'all were close in the pods. Don't pretend like you don't know her. Anyways, all the couples finally meet up. Then Catherine and Freddie show up. And Ali's staring a bit too much. And what is that lick? Um, yeah, Catherine. She's a very pretty girl. Catherine looks similar to what I thought she was going to look like. Right hand on the Bible. God can strike me down if I'm lying. That motherfucker's cheating! Anyways, Catherine goes ahead and asks Ali if she can pull him for a chat. Like, what is this? Love Island? Whole time that they're talking, Demi is watching. But Catherine is telling him how she didn't like the way that he told everybody about how he broke up with her. And he's looking at her like, bitch, really? But then he clarifies that he doesn't even remember that shit because it doesn't matter. And that they both knew that they were gonna dump each other, so it kind of worked out well. And she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. So now they're giggling and laughing, and Demi doesn't like it. She doesn't like it at all. They hug it out, and she's in total disbelief. Catherine goes back and said that he admitted that he was lying. He did not say that. So then she's like, I told him I couldn't be happier with Freddy, so treat Demi well. My girl, what's wrong with you? So now, there's some tension in the air, and it feels like there's a lot of heat on Ali. Demi tries to have a conversation with him, but he just dips to have one with Bobby instead. What the hell is wrong with you? Now, Demi's like, what the fuck? And Jasmine and her don't understand what's going on. Ali and Bobby decide that it'll be best for him to talk to Demi one-on-one -on -one later. Anyways, surprise, surprise, Nicole and Benaya are back. Congratulations! 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 We all got to have you back. You're gonna have the best time. You are. Thank you. I'm very happy Nicole is here with Benai instead of Sam. Damn right! Damn right! Back the fuck up! Back the fuck up you! So now they're all talking about how they're getting intimate with their mans, and Demi rather be anywhere else but there. She doesn't like that Ali doesn't show any PDA while everybody else is comfortable with it. Anyways, Nicole and Benaya are getting along very well. Now I'm sat here as an engaged man with Nicole as my fiance. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> So happy. Jasmine's telling Bobby that it's going around that Catherine was looking at Ali and Ali was looking at Catherine. And she's basically nagging Bobby that he ain't Ali's fiance, so he should be explaining things to Demi and not him. But then all of a sudden, she said that she's gonna have a chat with Ali. Like, I get it, she's trying to be a supportive friend, but that's really none of your business. Okay, now on to Demi and Ali. Ali's trying to get laid, but Demi wants to talk about the issues. But he's like, nah, I'm gonna go to bed instead. <laughs> 
She's like, Jasmine saw y'all flirting. And he's like, no, we weren't. We were just clearing things up. But Demi's still having doubts about the whole entire thing. And that's where the episode ends. So far, I kind of like this season. It was kind of boring in the beginning, but now it's getting like really juicy. And I'm fucking with that. Oh!